can't believe we're back here. I have to do it though. What's up, guys? Look at this. Look at what I've got. Fire protection. More protection. I'm breaking. More protection. I'm breaking. Feather falling. Some of these things I just I did not do the first time around. But we're gonna we're gonna beat this this time. I swear to you, we're not messing around today. Look at my inventory, dude. I'm ready for the nether. But yeah, this this took a while. This actually took. Today is Saturday from the last time I recorded, which was Wednesday. So plus I played in March, like for four hours. I think in total I probably spent like twelve hours looking for diamond, which took forever. But hopefully. I had this bad boy. Fortune 3, dude. Some of the diamond things gave me 3 per. It was crazy. I feel like I'm cheating, but I'm not. I'm clearly just using the mechanics in the game, right? I got my little uh, my little dungeon here with the enchanting table set up. That took forever. Needing, uh, you know, all the, the paper and crap to get all the books and stuff. I got a whole bunch of test runs, too. You can see the proof of me trial and erroring this. Because getting this sword to have looting took many, 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 many attempts. To get it to be the one I want and it costs like you need to have level 30 to get the best one so it took forever um I got a bunch of extra armor in here too I had these for my armor but they were not that good and then I uh, I tested it a little bit on some of the uh like leather things but eventually I just got back to back good stuff so we are playing Minecraft ladies and gentlemen it's been three months to the day because I played it February 27th pretty sure bonk my house is, is nothing to look at right I got some chicken here I don't care I'm ready I'm gonna sleep first, hang on. I don't want it to go out. I don't wanna go out during the night. I'm scared still, dude. There's some crazy stuff in here. There's like the underground cities. I could probably show you before we actually go to the nether because it's it's not too far from where I'm at. It's very scary. There's like a warden. There's some new kind of freaking boss guy. He's literally like, you don't wanna mess with him. I, I haven't even seen him before, but just walking into that city blinds you if you're walking terrifying we'll take a little detour because it's been so long since i played i kind of want to explain where this has been uh i was just afraid that's all no other excuse besides i'm terrified of this game when i'm you know on the verge of almost dying all the time so if we look down there uh that is basically death but i have a path over here as well you can kind of tell i've played a lot because i've kind of cleared out a lot of these dungeons like caves i mean i don't want to go that way I'll, I'll show you this edge because it's it's spoopy, man. It's very... I don't like it. I have a shield, too. Have you noticed that? I didn't know that was a mechanic the first time, but look at this place. Look at this nightmare fuel. I don't want to go down there. What are those things? I don't know. I don't care to look, though, because there's there's a boss guy in there somewhere, and if you walk around, he can hear you. He hears vibrations in the ground, so if you're just walking, he'll know where you are. Eh, nope. No thanks. What was that? Was that the sky outside? That was weird. But yeah, so uh, I don't even want to show you the blind effect because it's it's terrifying. Has that happened before? I don't remember. What am I hearing? Hmm, I'm scared. What's that? There's like a guy with an enchanted weapon over there. But yeah, I tried to walk in there. Oh, I almost fell. That would have... Dude, imagine I lost to that. Yeah, I walked over here. I got blinded. I ran away. It's not cool, man. I don't like that place. There's supposedly good loot, but it's not worth it, man. Did I almost fall again? I'm not... I'm, I got I to gotta play safe. I have to go to the nether right now and i haven't found a fortress i wanted to do that with you guys because clearly i uh failed last time but i know now to not mess with the pig guys but look at this i have ranged weaponry now i have learned from my mistakes i'm like iron man dude except i'm diamond man now so that's pretty cool i think i'm way more ready than i ever have been to proceed because i also i'll, I'll show you when we get back to the the house whatever if you can call it a house it's kind of just like an underground it's like my starter home, but I never changed it, you know? Usually the starter house is like just made of dirt, and uh, that's about it. Which, yeah, I pretty much did that. I had a crap ton of chickens, crap ton of cows again. Because uh, you need cows for the leather to make the books. Using the paper from the uh, sugarcane things to make the bookcases to make the enchanting table the best it can be. Very long process. And that's why I didn't want to record any of that, because I've already done that, right? I did all that stuff before on the last playthrough, which is why I didn't technically call the last one a finale because i knew i would come back and here we are oh this is what i'm going to show you boom 16 and 8 pearls so all we got to do is get those damn blaze rods which means here we go baby all right say goodbye to the cows and the chickens for a while it's because they're very loud we're ready to go in here i'm not ready mentally but like i'm ready equipment wise right because i have obsidian i had a lot of it actually i got enough to make this fully you know with the corners because it looks ugly without the corners i won't lie it looks stupid. Okay. Unless you have a cool block. 
it doesn't matter but i ended up getting like a whole lava lake a little lake a little maybe a puddle i ended up chopping it all up with one of these bad boys oh, i didn't use the fortune on it though i just used a regular diamond pickaxe when i first got it and then uh i've been using the anvil to repair my good stuff right this sword kicks ass like it's got the knockback but the smite makes it so you can kill undead stuff really fast I'm not ready, dude. I've been in here a tiny bit. I wanted to just make sure I didn't spawn into death. So I put some torches out. Oh, it's laggy. It's very laggy. I went over here for a while and then kind of just backtracked because I was afraid. Uh, there's also just a, a death cliff right over here, right around the corner. Very, very not good. But if we look down here, uh, death, uh, yeah. But that's what the gravel comes in handy with because I could probably just make a pathway. Do I have ladders on me? Oops. Ladders might have helped, because then I wouldn't have to break my thing down to get down. Although, if there's a gas, it would probably blow it up anyway, if it's made out of gravel. But here, let's... Because I don't really want to go across this. I want to kind of get down and see what's happening, right? So we're just going to... I didn't want to do this over lava, too. Like, imagine making it where I built it down into lava and then got shot by something. Like, uh, yeah, dead immediately. The fire uh, protection, I don't know if that would save me from lava. I think it's just a reduction by like, it's three times eight, so 24%. So I would just die 24% slower if I didn't get out of the lava immediately. Uh, water doesn't work here, right? I knew that. I have tricks and like ideas for if we get to the end and we're fighting the dragon, I have ideas, right? The feather falling is nice, but I'm going to carry like 15 buckets of water and just drop them all over the towers if I have to climb them, right? I'll use ladders too. Uh, I'm gonna make an obsidian anti uh, Enderman tower. You know those things that I have. Like I don't know if you saw them like when I was looking around, but those little like a uh, giant like it's like a mushroom looking thing, right? It's my anti. Oh hey, we're we're already ready to go. It's my anti uh, Enderman. Oh god, that would have sucked. Okay, so I'm gonna go real slow, just down the way. I hmm, maybe I should mark this as like my way back. I don't want to really cheat with the coordinate system. I should though, right? Because why not? I'm scared all the time, right? Oh, dude, this this might be the stupidest thing yet. Because shouldn't I just make a path down from here? Like how I normally would? Well, the only issue is that it doesn't connect completely. Oh, man. I don't like this place, man. It's so different, too. It used to just be like, oh, you go in here, it's all the same terrain, and you just find the thing. But I don't know anymore. Maybe I should do this. Maybe I should use my cobblestone. Maybe I could do, like, a halfway point, you know? Because if I can, just walk all the way back. But once we get the blaze rods, if we get them, today could be the day I beat this game. Who knows? I want to try to just make a staircase, okay? Oh, hey, look at that. We're already back. That was easy. Okay, cool. So, we might as well just do this then, right? Like a full-on... I liked the gravel idea, but it's just kind of scary to me. What if I need to backtrack really, really fast? I'm also just build straight up and hope I don't get shot off or something. I don't know. We're going to avoid those stupid hoglin dudes. Oh, wait. Couldn't I make a stairwell from gravel? Hang on. That might be the most genius idea. Make it where it's a two by two, right? I have a lot of gravel. I've been kind of preparing for this moment because I have a bunch of arrows. I think I'm good on flint, you know? I got to make sure I'm crouching at all times because doing that without crouching, dead. I don't even know how much I would take for damage, but... I don't think the feather falling does much. If the feather falling is another 24%, I think the protection stacks with it? I don't even know. Oh, and I have golden apples, by the way. I forgot about that. I didn't use those last time. But it gives you two extra hearts for three minutes. And when you eat one, it gives you two hearts, or four hearts. I'm all over the place, dude, I know. But it gives you four hearts um, in healing in like five seconds or something. Okay, so that one's ready to start the descent. Oh, I lost one. There's a zombie thing, or not zombie, a piglin? I don't know. I'm not really afraid of them as much because I can shoot back, but I have a bunch of gold on me too in case. I don't think it worked last time though. I'm pretty sure they just tried to kill me last time, but it's fine. I'm gonna make sure I don't accidentally hit shift. We're gonna watch this a little bit because I'm obviously gonna try to skip ahead if I can. Oh no, you see what I see? It's one of those assholes that killed me. I would not mind avoiding them completely because i've learned from my mistakes but if i have to get through one of them i would just shoot them from afar right they can't jump and they can't break blocks yeah so i should be able to just avoid them okay that one's ready and now all we gotta do 
Oh wait, this isn't gonna work. Oh my god, dude. Because if I break it down, it's gonna fall down. I could, actually, you know what? I could replace each one with cobblestone all the way down. Okay, I'm not completely stupid. This is just to make the base for it, right? Because I couldn't put cobblestone at the bottom and rise it up, so. I'm actually not stupid. I'm just not a genius, you know? I'm not, I, I 190 IQ, maybe. Is the music loud? Is it too loud? Because I noticed, hang on, let me, let me just look. I also think if I get in a predicament, I could just pause like, by hitting escape. That feels cheaty though, so I'm gonna try to not do that. Not video settings, you dumb dumb. I wanna try to see if I can just crank this down a bit, because sometimes the music is very scary and I don't like it. Like I was next to one of those, like it's the deep city, whatever it's called. And the music was all just like broken, like it was, it was, uh, I, I wanted to turn the game off. It was horrible. I did not like it. It was terrifying, but uh, luckily we don't have to deal with that because I don't have to go there to beat the game. So what I'm thinking is I break one of these and turn it into cobblestone and then the stairwell will be eventually complete. So maybe I should just skip this part because uh, I want to kill that guy so bad, but he's got a buddy over there. Oh, wait, I have an idea. He's on the edge, right? Dude, my aim is impeccable! Get out! He's not really on an edge, is he? Okay, I missed that shot, but... How much is this doing for damage, though? I'm missing! He's so slow, and I'm missing! Did I miss that, too? <clears throat> if I could just kill him... From here, I'd be very happy. Oh! It only took, like, five shots! Okay, I will always forget, every time I played, since, like, the last few days, every time I cock it back, don't take that out of context. Every time I pull it back, I forget that I did that and I immediately shoot on accident. Like I'm trying to cock it back with right click, but right click is shoot as well. So very confusing. Okay, we're gonna slowly get this done, right? Cause there's no there's no danger right now, yeah? I'm just gonna keep putting torches on. I'm, I'm scared. So I might just pause it for a little tiny bit because obviously I don't need these here now. We're gonna just make like the most basic staircase. Oops, I'm stupid. I need to go down one. Oh, my brain's not working. I know, but we'll eventually get down there, right? Oh, I, was, I wasn't holding shift. I mean, I wasn't in shift mode. Okay, I'm gonna pause. I'm afraid, because if I pause, I might die, and I don't want to do that again. I want you to watch it if it happens, but I don't want to die, so I'm gonna be very, very careful. Try to get to the bottom of this thing and have that guy down there killed, and then we'll come back, because there's gonna be a lot more to do. If I can get the stupid blaze rods, we can go straight into looking for the end, because I'm so ready for it. Like, I got the, the water buckets. I have a few. I probably need to make a few more. Um, I have, like, all the supplies I need. Food, the apples, uh, the obsidian. I have more in my base. I have, like, double what I got because I took half. Uh, what else do I need? I have a boat. I didn't know. I don't know if I mentioned that, but I could use a boat to, like, fall from any height and not die. It's very confusing because you have to hold forward or, like, move while you're falling. But it works. I tested it. I did like little tiny test runs like Iron Man, dude. I'm literally Iron Man. I, I did from like a, a medium height, right? I jumped off. Okay, that was kind of stupid. But I fell off. It took like half a heart of damage because of the feather falling. And when I used the boat, I was just like rowing and I landed and it was like, kunk, like the, the boat hit the ground. I didn't take any damage. <sighs> Mind blowing because if I'm on top of those uh, freaking the obsidian towers in the end, I have a hole in my shirt, by the way. Don't worry about it. I, I might have shown it on accident, but don't worry about it. Um. If I'm on top of one of those things, I could just take a boat and jump off and survive. But that's also what the water's for, right? If I put water down ahead of time and then climb the thing and fall, there's gonna be water on the ground. So I will never die. Unless the dragon breaks the water source, but that's what I'm gonna have a bunch, right? I'm gonna put like a couple on the corners of the thing. Like, well, it's a circle, right? So the corners, what, there's corners. Though. We're playing in square land. Uh, shut up. <laughs> there's corners, okay? But um, yeah. We're gonna we're gonna play it a lot smarter because I didn't even get to that point, but I'm already thinking about it because I have to, right? Because we might beat this today, and if we beat this today, I bought a lot of booze. So, what's happening over there? There's a lot of those fools. Do I even want to be on the ground? I don't know anymore. Well, hang on. I wanna I wanna use the coordinates because what if I'm in the wrong section? I looked up a video, right? I had to. I'm kind of rambling, but. It basically said, look like 250 blocks away from the spawn in any direction. And if you don't find it, go the opposite way, 250. So like 500 from that. And then if that doesn't work, go the other two directions. And if that doesn't work, then like complete the window, right? So you'd have like a plus and then you would go like around the corners 
it make a full square. And if you still didn't find it, you screwed. So I'll probably do that at some point. But right now we just need to, you know, get a baseline of where we're gonna go. Cause I can't just walk across nothing. So I'll be back. Hopefully I survive. If anything crazy happens, I'll try to hit record again really fast or unpause. Cause I'm not, I'm pausing the, I'm not stopping the recording, but I'll be back. Oh, wish me luck, dude. Wait, I made my own luck. That's from a game I, we haven't played yet, but it's Assassin's Creed. We'll get to it eventually, okay? Revelation is after this, but it's not Revelation, so. I'll return, hopefully, still alive. I'm scared, though. Okay, I, I finally did it. I cleared out a little bit of the area. I am petrified right now, dude. I can't, I can't even get out of this spot. i am just been killing stuff that spawns in, and I'm just scared the whole time. Look, there's another dude over there. I think that's a good guy, though. He's one of the cool pig dudes. But the, the evil ones, man, they're just hostile. I threw some gold at them. There was like a guy and two little ones and they just, they scooped it up. They were like, meow, grabbed it. As soon as I got close, he immediately started trying to shoot me. I was like, oh, cool. I thought we were, I thought we were buddies. Nah, they're evil. They're just pure evil. So I just been killing the hog guys I see. Uh, they keep spawning over here. So I'm afraid to even leave, but they don't seem to attack unless I get really, really close. I kind of been baiting them, like going further and further and putting more torches out. Maybe they don't just, maybe they don't spawn if there's torches. I'm not sure. I see something there. It's one of them. It takes about five shots to kill them, I think. Oh, he's mad. Oh, but he can't do nothing. Right? He can't get up here, right? Ooh. I have a, a good security measure in place, double door, and then I can get out and look from here if need be. So I'm playing it very safe, right? I'm playing it extra cautiously because I don't want to have the same mistake happen where I get cornered by a stupid hog dude and die. But my sword should do pretty good. Like, it's got knockback too. So, like, this time, if I hit him, he should fall back enough to where I can put a block, right, and save myself. And then I got the apples, normally hotkeyed. I've been uh, kind of just building stuff and being scared. But I'm going to go this way, just straight, as much as I can, right? Like, kind of far, hopefully. If we find something, I'll come right back. Because, I mean, last time I got lucky and found it while recording, but I don't know if I'll be that lucky this time. Because it took forever in the last one. Like, it was really, really far. So hopefully, I don't really see anything from just this spot. Like, there's nothing there. There's a lot more down I could go. That's that's bad. That's a bad spot. Don't want to go there. But I don't see anything really worth looking into yet. So I'm going to just go this way for a while. Maybe I'll check the, the block count and just just to see let's see if i'm at like zero right for the x i'm going one up negative one. Oh, i'm going down actually i'm going negative okay so i'll hit negative 250 if there's anything over there i'll investigate but i don't think there's gonna be so we'll see i'll uh i'll come back when something happens or if i die which i hope f if i die dude i'll drink it as well uh, is, i'm drinking no matter what <laughs> if i beat it i drink i mean obviously i could not beat it what if it takes me hours like the whole night i could record I could record until Sunday, like morning. That's how long this could take, because it might just take forever. Plus finding the end could take twice as long, because if I have, I have like, what, six? Or uh, no, I have like 12 extra pearls I can use. I just need 24, well, I should get a crap ton, right? If I get a crap ton of blaze rods, like 50, I would never have to worry about coming back here, right? Because then I could just get more endermen, I could farm them. Some of them drop three pearls at a time, or uh, eyes of ender, right? Same thing, whatever. Okay, that's a bad guy. Oops, see, I, I, I knew it. I do it all the time, man. I just pre-shoot it on accident because I'm trying to cock it back. Oh, he's died already. That's cool. I think whatever I have, the piercing thing, I think it lets me grab all the arrows I shoot. But obviously, if they despawn, I don't get to grab them. I might need more arrows. I've been, I literally went through like a whole stack of arrows. I'm going to go back to the surface. Well, surface, right? Back to my home world. Grab another stack of arrows. And I could always get more gravel, right? I have plenty of gravel to break into the flint if i have to so i'm gonna grab another arrow thing and proceed with the journey and hopefully we can just find it get a bunch of blaze rods uh and then get the hell out of here and start looking for the end for now though i'll be back nothing should happen right this is past me talking present me hmm past because it already happened now hmm i don't know i'll be back hopefully we're good okay i actually didn't die that's that's impressive right I fought a few of those hog dudes. Well, I fought one. Melee? I was I was blocking, right? I had a little window, and he still hit me. It only did one heart of damage instead of like two and a half like normal. So my armor is really good. I fought one of those uh, pig dudes, melee as well. 
and uh, he only did about a heart when I killed him about three hits. That was pretty good. I checked all of that area, and I even went, like, I did, like, a little T and searched. Not even a sign of anything. So I'm going to keep going probably the opposite way. This is my straight path that I made, but I, I took all kinds of different routes and found a huge lava lake that way. So I don't really want to investigate that yet. Oh, hi, 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 hi. Oh, you're mad. Oh, you're mad. Don't shoot me. That was probably risky to do that. Get inside. Get inside. Go. Oh. And now I'm safe. What you gonna do, dude? That was risky, though. I shouldn't have walked across the uh, tree there. Could I have died right then? Could I have actually died? Maybe. Depending on where he would have potentially shot me, yeah? Let's just uh make it a little bit safer. If I ever go that way again. I don't think I would. There's not really a need to go back the same way. But I could have totally died if it was right there. That would have been kind of stupid. I panicked, okay? I panicked. I'll be honest. <sighs> we have to go this way now, dude. I'm scared. There is a bunch of crap over here. But if I go that way, maybe I should go lower. I don't know, man. It's so confusing, this place. There's so many like layers to it. What if it's way above me and I just never noticed? Or what if I could see it from here and I messed up? Because I was too scared to go this way. Let's see. I don't know. I'll, uh... I'll get back to you guys, because this is going to take forever if I uh, explore for hours. I mean, it's, it's already 8 o'clock, dude. And when did I start? It was like 7, maybe? Or even earlier? I don't even know, dude. It's going to take a while, but I'm going to just persevere, you know? Keep searching. I tried changing the render distance, and it didn't really do anything. I think this place is just really foggy. So I'm going to try to go this way now, okay? What are we at? We're at uh, negative 17, so I need to go to, like, negative 300 probably. I went to, like... Three, negative 300 the other way so we'll try to just do like a three by three i guess <sighs> all right round two all right reporting in uh still no progress i went how far negative 320 and some change and there was nothing over here nothing over there nothing over here i didn't really look no i, I kind of did there's a big gap of like nothing oh god it lagged a little bit i'll show you the path i made all the way back to the start so we've cleared half kind of with no progress at all i haven't seen a single sign of anything um i found that like soul sand area i thought maybe that was a good idea to look through because the last time i found it it was next to a bunch of those skeletons uh that was just coincidence i think though so i went through some of the mountainside didn't find anything so uh yeah i killed some gas though i got a gas here that's kind of cool i guess oh and i found this whatever this is ancient debris a while back I don't know what that is. It's not a blast shard. Uh, a blast shard. <laughs> what is that from? That's a game I haven't played. Oh, God. They are so loud. A, uh, what did I say? Uh, freaking, uh, a blaze rod. I don't know where blast shard came from. What the hell? That was bizarre. That was like a Freudian slip. Oh! Check this out. How are you in my tunnel? Get out of here. How are you in my tunnel, dude? It's supposed to be blocked off. Oh, I see. Oh. Oh. Oh, I'm stupid. Okay. Well. Oh, what? I didn't clear out a section? Oh, a tiny, tiny section. I've been just making sure nothing can get, like, in or out. Including me. So if I got trapped, uh... You see I can handle myself, right? You saw. You know. Why can't I build that there? Hmm? What's happening? I... How did I build it behind me? That was weird. Anyways, we're almost back. I didn't completely block it, which is probably stupid of me. But, uh... We're almost at the beginning again. For the second time. Third time, I guess. Because we kind of started over here. Damn. Back to nothing. Okay, well, this might just be the nether episode. Who knows? It is 13, right? Part 13? That doesn't mean anything, right? I died on the last one. I can't die again, right? I have to somehow build over there, though. It's got to be somewhere over here then, right? Shouldn't it be in the beginning, kind of? They wouldn't make it where you have to check the entire nether, right? Because that'd be a stupid design, right? If somebody's saying it's probably within the first 250, I just I'm, I just picked the wrong directions twice. But maybe the portal is where it faces. Because I, I come out of the portal facing this way. So maybe I should check this way next, yeah? Probably logically right what if it was like the portal gets built and you go straight from the portal and then you find it i don't think that's true but we'll go with our gut and say this way is probably better 
Oh, it's such a big gap there, though. Maybe I'll just go across and, like, through, and we'll find our own path. We'll make our own destiny, our, our own path, our own luck, all of that. Oh, I'm nervous, though, man. I mean, I am i shouldn't be, though, because I accidentally got hit by lava. Like, I was digging with uh, my efficiency pickaxe, and it, it plows through stuff. Let me show you real quick. It... Okay, these are, these are harder to break. Hang on. These... That's not a good example. Hang on, hang on. That's a bad example. This is, like, not really... Not what I was breaking. Hang on, hang on. Why... This is not as fast as I thought it was. Hang on. Oh, I'm using... Oh, you know what? That's why. There. That's what I was doing. I was doing this, and then lava showed up. And I got hit by it, trying to block it. I only lost, like, not even a heart, and it kept regenerating. Like, that's how good the fire... Oh, my God. I also fell earlier, too. I was building a bridge, and I didn't see a gap. I was like, la da dee dee Ooh, and fell down probably, like, 15 blocks. And I only lost, like, half a heart. This armor is the best armor I've ever seen. It's really helpful. I was fighting one of the dudes with a crossbow and stood in fire and didn't even get hurt. Like, I was getting burned, sure, but it wasn't even hurting me. Oh, God. Oh, okay. I'm going to be as safe as I can be. I will be back once we get to probably, what is it, uh, positive 250 or more. And then we'll see where we can... Uh, if I can't find it after this line, I'm going to just pause even if it takes all night. If I have to come back at like 3 in the morning, whatever it takes, dude. I'll, I'll listen to music or something. I'll just try to chill, you know. But whatever it takes, I will find this stupid fortress tonight if I have to. Because I, I kind of want to just get it done. Plus, I'm going to run out of time. Today is the 20th. This has to be out on the 27th. It just has to be. So I have a week. I want to get it done today, though. Like, I, I've been putting it off because I've been ready since yesterday. i just been, I've been scared, you know? I've been a baby, but we're going to try to fix that. So I'll be back again. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just trying to kill time, I guess. I don't know. I'll be back, though. Hopefully we find it. But I'll get to this end of this line, and if we don't find it, then the next pause, I will go hard as a mofo and get it. So I shall, I shall return. Hopefully we just get it right now. Please, let me just find it. I don't care if it looks like I cheated or something because I can't, right? I don't even know. Could I even put, let me just see. Can I, dude, it's, it's red. Like you can't even do those commands. Oh, maybe it's not, slash help. Hang on. I'm pretty sure it's a, uh... unknown, uh, yeah. I, I can't do that, right? Isn't that like how it is? That's how you put it, right? Game mode sussy. I can't cheat, right? Even if I wanted to. I'm not gonna switch this to can you even switch it to survival i think there's a way to like save the world but you see my hearts right like i'm not cheating i've never have and I, I wouldn't lie to you either like i'm just doing what i have to to survive you know you got like a million chickens that's just natural right the experience bar you get from feeding them and stuff i might have milked some of that stuff you know like feeding the thousand chickens i had and then killing them afterwards for double the experience kind of like but other than that like i'm just playing the game and it just takes forever we're gonna find this thing soon, hopefully, and not die. Cause I'm gonna be even more careful now. Cause I thought I was careful and I fell down my little bridge and my life flashed before my eyes. A few times actually now. A ghast uh, shot me. I was on fire for a few seconds. Pretty scary stuff, but I survived everything. So like my armor is actually making sure I survive. So let's get it. Let's get it. Let's, let's get it. I should have been, I should be dead, dude. I should literally be dead. I just had the worst experience. In my life, how are these guys behind me? My heart's, my heart is racing, dude. I was, oh my God, I'll, I'll show you what I was doing very carefully because I should be dead. I should be a million, million times dead. I was over here, right? Baking a bridge very slowly, right? I was over here doing this. I got shot from behind and like jumped and landed like this. I should be dead, dude. I ran over and blocked. I should be dead. Oh my God, dude. Oh, oh. You know what's down there? Lava. Lots of lava. I actually... Hmm. I probably would be dead. I would probably be dead. Because my fire resistance is really, really high. I don't have any like, swim affinity. Oh, my dude. I'm so scared. I, I've been putting torches down and everything. How did they get up here? They just spawn in whenever, I guess. <sighs> I'm so scared. Also, there's a gas in the corner, whatever. But I, I saw this over here, and I, I it looks like a bridge, right? Like, maybe it's the fortress. That's kind of why I was getting so distracted. I'm like, oh, let me just start building this way. I should be dead. I can't believe he was like right behind me. Oh, dude. Every precaution. And yet I still almost die because a stupid spawn 
of right behind me. I literally just walked over here. Like, there's no way he could have followed me all the way. Maybe. Who knows? I'm going to I'm gonna try very carefully now to investigate what that thing is. If that's a fortress, dude, we're in business. I don't know, though, because that could just be, like, the ground of, like, the shore or something. I'm always going to be watching my back now, man. Oh, God. it's so, There's no other way to make a bridge, like, over this, though, you know? I've been crouching a bunch, but... Dude, oh, I, I panicked, man. Oh, I was just taking taking out some of the sand there. Oh, I'm, I'm scared. I don't like this game anymore. I'm going to pause it again. Hopefully, nothing crazy happens because that could have been it, man. I would have been panicked swimming in lava. I don't know where I would have gone. I have no idea. It's just literally a sea of lava. Like, how could I have survived that? If I was taking, like, half a heart of damage at a time, golden apple might have helped. I'm going to... I should probably have that, like, ready all the time. Because if I had two extra health, maybe I could have ran over to somewhere and, like, built a tiny little thing and just, like, barely survived. I probably would have been okay, though. Honestly, I, th I thought about it, too. Like, as a last resort, I would jump into lava near the edge and probably survive because I wouldn't take any fall damage. I would just start taking, like, lava damage. But I think I would survive it. I don't know, though. And I don't want to test it. So I'm going to probably kill that guy back there because I think he's still over there. Somehow... He didn't despawn. This is how I've been building my bridges, by the way. So loud. What the hell? I've been building the bridges with, like, a, a gap on the bottom so that I could see. That's how they got up there? Oh, my God, dude. I really should be blocking completely. Back off. I hate these guys. I missed? How did I miss? There's literally just, like, a tiny little asshole. Not him. I mean, a freaking little, little gap where they can get in. That's insane. Hang on, I could just do this the whole way. Mm, ridiculous. Okay, we should be good now. There shouldn't be another spot, right? Hang on. Never know. Okay, I'll be back again. Hopefully that is just the thing. And if we just find that, Maybe we do one, I don't know. I could probably beat the game in eight minutes if I f actually find the thing in time. If that's a fortress, I'll be very happy. But I don't know. It's hard to tell from this angle. That could just be lava falling, but I'm pretty sure they have like big pillars in the ground. So how could I not see it? But I'm gonna keep moving very, very slowly. And hopefully we find it. Okay guys, I have no idea where it's at. I found some cool stuff, I guess. Some, oh, shh, run away. I can't run on the sand. You never know where that gas will be. I found it. I found it. There it is. They're not scary. It takes like two shots, but uh, I'm going to retreat now because I am very far from home. 377, and I still haven't seen a damn thing in this direction. So I'm going to go back because I took a weird route, and I don't remember exactly how to get back. It's... Hi. Run away, run away, run away. Yikes. Okay. I'm going to head back. I'm going to actually resupply my pickaxe and my torches because I ran out of coal. So I'm going to grab some stuff from home and then, oh God, close this gap off. I don't trust it. I don't trust myself either. Let's just not have any accidental mess ups, you know? I got to just get across this little tiny bridge that I made and we'll be safe. <laughs> Did you hear that noise that I made? That was just me, uh... My soul leaving my body because I'm scared. Oh, okay, I'm going to just come back. We're going to just find it, okay? Hi, skeleton. Bye, skeleton. Mm, he clipped me. Ah, he got me again. Oh, asshole. Okay, I will just come back when I find it because it's going to take too long. Maybe I can find it, get the things, run back. I, mean, I guess we'll just have to find the end together, right? Because that might take forever. So we can do like a little montage of that if we get to it. If we survive. If I survive this and get home, we beat the game, right? I, there's no way I fail at the end, right? Because it's just, it's going to be too easy, right? But I'll be back. We're going to find it, right? We have to. We have to. It's taking too long, man. It is now 9.30. Ugh, I'm going to be here all night. We've we've checked three locations. Uh, and basically the fourth should be guaranteed, right? Because I've gone really far. If I have to go like double what I've done, that's bad game design, right? You just got to look for it. And they made it where the one item you need to beat the game is in this place. And it's a giant maze. And there's no end to it. 
I think. Oh, that's a big boy up there. That's a. Why are you on top of my thing? Hmm. Why are you on top of there? Huh? Punk? Huh? Get out of here. I could always block him, you know. Like if I were to, if he were to fall in here, I could just put one block down and he survived five shots. No way. He's supposed to die in five. That was weird. Okay, I'm gonna precautionally. Oh, do this all the way across. I think now's the time. You're not gonna watch me die, okay? I swear. I swear. Okay, I'll be back. We're gonna get it. I'm gonna go the other direction, which is behind where my staircase ends, and we're gonna get it. We're just gonna win. We're just gonna find the thing, call it a day, and then we'll probably have one more part because I don't know if I can beat it now in three minutes. We'll see. I mean, we won't see because we'll probably just get to the fortress and get as many blaze rods as I can carry, and then go home, and we'll be good. I should just eat this all the time. Where did I lose half a heart from? We oh the skeleton. The never mind. Okay, let's get it. We're gonna find it, even if, I'll tell you what time it is too, I'll try to remember. If it's like 11, or if it's five minutes from now when I come back, who knows? It could be right around the corner. Like, it could be very, very easy. It could be just right over here. But, how lucky can I be, right? I make my own luck. Ah, let's get it. Did I find it? That has to be it, right? Man. Where am I? Seven, 466. I had to go so far. But I think that's it. Whoa, 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 chill, chill, chill. I'm also a lot higher than I was. I was way down there. I'm gonna be very, very careful because I think that's the start of one. I'm scared though. There's a bunch of like uh, pig dudes around here. They don't sound like the nice ones either. I'm gonna be very, very cautious because I think I could just call it once I walk into this thing because I don't know if I could find blazes right away either. Oh, I'm so scared, dude. Oh, I saw these blocks over here and almost shot my pants, dude. Oh, I forgot I, I'm like so full of crap that I huh, literally <laughs> No, not like that. I mean full of stuff that I couldn't pick them up. Hang on. Let me just Let me just make it extra safe. I Don't believe my eyes. I'm so scared though Maybe I should just try to get into that spot. Oh, dude. I'm freaking out. I finally got it's it's now 1022 so it's been a hot minute. It's been a uh, almost an hour of extra searching this way only very annoying okay don't mess this up i'm so scared dude i accidentally hit shift and ran a little bit on the edge of a bridge i was making i don't know what i'm doing i'm just testing to make sure i have shift down like or that i'm crouching you know oh my, my i'm freaking out dude what if it's like the the longest thing ever though what if it's like a hundred million uh on the x-axis or something i don't even know man it, it shouldn't be though right give me that torch i don't want to even see those dudes you know Oh, I'm so scared. I can't believe we're doing this though. Oh crap. I can't I can't see these Okay, I am crouching. Oh It's so high up man. Yes. Yes. Yes Okay Whew. Dude It feels really crappy to be back because I hate this. I hate being scared all the time But I think we're finally in the end game unlucky part 13 finally come to fruition We've done the impossible. All I gotta do now is not die, you know? Oh, I'm out of those, but it's fine. Oh, imagine there was a gap there. <laughs> Dude. Okay, wait, there could be those weird skeleton things though. I'm scared, I'm still scared, but get me in this thing. We're in it for the long haul, baby. We're gonna do this shit. We're gonna beat it on hardcore, man. In the next one, probably. So, this will be the fourth game, maybe just for one more part, you know? Oh, it's really long, huh? Oh, it's really long. It's laggy. Okay, we're good. This is gonna take forever, isn't it? Okay, well, in the next one, we're gonna figure out what we gotta do. Oh no, it diverges. Like, oh, it's a freaking crossroad? Nah, man. Maybe they're right around the corner though, you know? Who knows? Thanks for watching, guys. I'm glad I didn't chicken out, you know? I'm glad I survived. We still got one more thing to do, which is kill the mother effing dragon. But we have to get the blaze rods first. And then that's it, right? Then we find the end, and we're good. So, catch you then. Later, guys. <laughs> Bruce.